good evening everyone myself gautam sharma i welcome you all in a sapiens education so today i am going to discuss about the new chapter that is current electricity and it is the part one video it is the beginning of the video so try to i will try to um, explain each and everything step by step okay so first of all what do you mean by electric current the rate of flow of electric charge through any any cross section area of a conductor is called electric current let us consider that let us consider that this is a conductor or this is a pipe so when water flow through the pipe then only we say that that, that there is water current same thing happens here also same thing happens here also that the flow of charges have, starts so whenever you you see that there is a movement of electrons per unit area or per through the cross section then that flow is known as the current right so the rate of flow of electric charge to any cross section area of a conductor is called electric current average current so average current can be written as the amount of charge flowing in a time period for example let us consider five coulomb of charge has been passed in 10 second so the current will be in that five coulomb of charge in 10 seconds so this will be 0 0.5 coulomb so in each second it is flowing 0 0.5 coulomb per second so 0 0.5 coulomb per second is the current or the amount of the current and if we talk about the instantaneous current so it will be the small amount of current flowing through any cross section per unit time and the SI unit is ampere or coulomb per second but the current is a scalar quantity current is a scalar it does it does not have any specific direction okay so current is a scalar quantity i hope you have understood now now let us go for next one direction of electric current high potential to low potential for example if this is a two voltage and this is a zero volt so the current will flow from two volt to zero volt in the direction of motion of a positive charge what do you mean by direction of motion of the positive charge let us consider there is a resistance like this and we have connected up we have connected a battery and this is positive and negative so it means that the flow flow of positive charge is from c flow of positive charge is from this direction to this direction and the current direction is also in this direction so in the direction of the motion of positive charge now actually what happens actually charge positive charge does not move right you should always remember that there is a more risk responsibility of electron to move but no positive charge moments is happening here so let us consider if electron is moving like this electron is moving like this so the current is moving in this direction so current will flow in opposite direction of the electron movement right see electron is moving in this direction positron is moving in this direction so the current is moving in this direction so current will always flow in the opposite direction of motion of the negative charge got it so i hope you have understood now now let us uh, discuss this one so current carriers who is the carriers for example if there is a solid conductor so who is responsible for the movement of the current so free electron is the responsible and if we talk about the insulator so no charge carriers but in semiconductor, free electrons and holes are responsible for the movement. So let us consider there is a atoms. Atom has extra extra charges. So extra charges are extra electrons. So electron as well as holes are responsible for the movement in the semiconductor. When we talk about the liquid, the positive and negative ions are responsible. For example, NaCl is there. So and it is in the form of a molten form. So what will happen? Na plus ion and Cl ion minus ion. So positive as well as negative ions are responsible for the movement of the charge in the liquid. And when we talk about the gas, so positive ions as an a free electron at a high voltage. So these are the uh, entity which is responsible for the current carrier. Now what is drift velocity? Drift. The name itself means what? Drifty. Have you ever seen that in the movie that it has been drift? For example, car. Car is moving, but with the lagging, some lagging. 
it is defined as the average velocity with which the free electrons get drifted toward the positive see actually what happen if no charges no up, um, voltage is applied so what happen electron is moving like this like this so electron is moving like this like this it means that electron again comes to in it, its initial project initial position it means that no net movement is there no net movement is there right if no net movement is there so what will happen if no more net movement is there so what will happen no flow of electron we can't consider that there is a flow of electron but now what happens when we apply up when we apply a potential difference so what will happen see here if suppose electron is moving like this like this and like this like this come again now if potential difference is applied so what is the difference see here so it will electron will move electron will move from negative to positive so for example if it is negative in this side and there is a positive terminal so what happen electron will try to not try to move away but due to potential difference what happen electron will move like this again come like this but its motion or behavior pattern will be same so what you have observed that there is a certain displacement of the electron and this is known as drifting this is known as drifting right this is known as drifting i hope you have understood now it is again again i will read this that it is defined as the average velocity with which free electron gets drifted toward the positive end see positive end free electrons are moving toward positive end of the conductor under the influence of an external electric field applied right okay now let e is the strength of the applied electric field then the force on the electron due to the applied field is how much f is equal to qe c again i am telling you c if there is an electric field we have studied uh, this in the electrostatic chapter that uh, if there is a electric field if if there is an electric field see this is an electric field okay and if you put a positive charge so what will happen there will be a force on this positive charge and this will be equal to qe and if you put a negative charge so there will be opposite direction force and this will be also a qe so here also we are discussing letter e is the strength of the applied electric field then the force of the electron due to the ele applied electric field is equal to f is equal to e into e where e is the charge of the electron now let us consider m is the mass of the electron then the acceleration produces how much so acceleration is equal to force by m so this is basic thing that force divided by mass is known as acceleration but what we have found that force is equal to e e and divided by m so finally we have got acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to e into capital e that is electric field divided by m so i hope you have understood this right you have understood this one okay now let us go for next let if t is the relaxation time with which the average time that one electron is spent between the two such two collision so what will happen see if there is a conductor and the electron moves like this like this like this like this but it has done the drift right so the time taken is in while drifting or while between a drifting or a collision between two collision is how much tau and the initial velocity was zero final velocity was vd that is drift velocity we have considered vd as a drift velocity so the acceleration will be vd minus zero that is final velocity minus initial velocity by time t so finally from here we have got vd as acceleration into tau right now we have already derived the acceleration value of acceleration in previous slide see here acceleration is equal to how much acceleration is equal to e e by m so here we can put acceleration is equal to e m so finally vd that is drift velocity is equal to e e by m into tau we have got this right now direction of drift velocity is opposite to the direction of electric field see direction of drift velocity is opposite to the direction of electric field for example let us consider 
we have applied a positive charge and negative so what will happen the electric field direction will be electric field direction will be in this direction so this is the direction of electric field now we know that the electron will always move from electron will always move from negative to terminal to positive terminal right so the moment of electron is in this direction so velocity of the electron will be also in this direction but the direction of electric field is in this direction so what happens the direction of drift velocity is opposite to the drift uh, di uh, to the direction of the electric field and vd is proportional to electric field if you increase the electric field so drift velocity will increase right it does not depend upon the diameter of conductor so drift velocity does not depend upon the direct diameter of the conductor so this thing you should remember right now relaxation time it is the temperature dependent characteristics of the material of the conductor it decreases with the increase in temperature Tem it is temperature dependent relaxation time is was time required between two successive collisions see here we have already uh, discussed this that let us consider this is a conductor and the electron is moving like this like this so what happened time between two successive collision one collision two collision so the time between uh, required between two successive collision is known as tau okay so that is a relaxation time so if it is temperature dependent if we increase the temperature so what will happen relaxation time will decrease a conductor it decreases with the increase in the temperature if you increase the temperature so the molecular movement will increase so the collision time will decrease reason if the temperature of conductor increase the amplitude amplitude of the vibration will also increase due to this the free electron will collide more frequently with the vibrating atom and as a result the relaxation time decreases okay so the average relaxation time tau is the order of 10 to the power minus 4 seconds so you should remember these things okay so you have got relaxation time now relation between drift velocity and the current so we have already discussed about drift velocity now let us find the relationship between drift velocity and the current now consider a wire of a length l see this is the wire of a length l uniform cross-sectional area is a so the area of the cross-sectional area is a in which the electric field applied is present right so e is the electric field now i will assume something that n is the number of free electron per unit volume in one unit volume n is the number of electron so the drift velocity vd is your drift velocity of the electron right now let the there will be n free electron per unit volume moving with the drift velocity vd and in time t interval so in time t interval let us consider time t interval interval the length length it has traveled length of the electron has traveled is how much length electron has traveled is how much length is equal to velocity into time t or distance travel is velocity into time t so here velocity is your drift velocity time we are talking about tau right so nl is the length so distance travel is, is how much bd into t now volume of this portion so if this is the area of cross section and l is the length so volume will be area into length and in length we can find right here bd into t now the number of free electron in the wire is how much see this is the number of free electron so in one unit volume see in one unit one unit volume number of free electron is n so this much amount of unit volume uh, this much amount of volume in this much amount of volume the number of free uh, electron is equal to n a into b d into t now the total moving charge the total charge we can consider as minus n a b d into t into e why minus because electric is uh, e is the negative charge so one electron has e charge so n electron has um, n into e so this is the amount of charge total charge right now the current will be total charge divided by time t so minus n a b d into t e divided by t just it is as simple it is see in t time what happens t times total amount of charge passed is this right so the electric current i is equal to q by t so you have to put here q is equal to n a b d t e by t 
so finally we have got i as a current is equal to minus n e a p d okay so i hope you have understood the current current as a i, I is equal to n e a p d right now when a constant current pass through the wire with a different cross sectional see if cross section is different see but the current is constant so what happened so let us consider here drift velocity is vd1 area is a1 here drift velocity is vd2 area is a2 so what will happen vd is equal to i n by n e a why because we have already de derived here i is equal to n e a v d so vd will be equal to i by n e a so put here i by n e a so what will happen vd is proportional to 1 by a got it so it means that if area is less so drift velocity is more if area is more drift velocity is less it means that vt vd drift velocity is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area in if i is constant if i is constant so i hope you have understood this if i is constant then drift velocity is inversely proportional to a if area will increase velocity drift velocity will be decrease so here area is more so drift velocity vd2 will be less as compared to as compared to drift velocity at one right so i hope you have understood now q estimation of the average drift velocity now we need to understand what is mobility the drift velocity of a charge carrier per unit electric field is called mobility so try to find see i will give you two conductor okay two conductor like this and in this i will apply same electric field a but in this i am seeing that velocity drift velocity is 2 meter per second but in this i am seeing 4 meter per second so it means that the below below conductor or this conductor or we are talking about this conductor the electron movement is very high it means that the mobility of electron is high so that's why the mobility if you want to define a mobility so mobility is drift velocity per unit electric field the, for the same amount of electric field the have the conductor having more drift velocity will have more mobility right so we can find the mobility as like this so mobility what will be the drift velocity it will be e e by m tau just we have already derived divided by electric field so finally we have got e by m into tau and the finally the si unit is meter square volt second mobility of a free electron is always greater than the holes you, you should remember because electron is extra in number so it has the the easy easy movement but hole it is the not the easy easy movement right so mobility of the electron mobility of electron is greater than the holes so this person may be asked right now what is current density density means what number of unit uh, something per unit volume so in current flowing per unit cross sectional area of a conductor is called the current density and it is divided by j so for example this is a conductor and this is cross sectional area and the current flowing through this is a so j will be a current by a and it is a vector quantity but it is always not there that your area of cross section will be perpendicular to the current applied current see here current direction is this area of vector is this now let us consider the area is like this and it is making an angle of theta with the direction of current so or the area vector and the current direction is making an angle theta so what happened see here j is what current current flowing per unit area so current is not flowing uh, uh, from whole this area see here in this net area net area will be like this see net area will be see for example let us consider see for example i will give you the scenario see here now one one cross section is like this one cross section is like this 
So in this cross section, one, two, three, four, five, five lines are passing. If you add on, or six lines are passing. But if we talk about the cross section, same cross section, if I will till like this, so what will happen? See, only one, two, three, four electrons are passing. Right? If I will till it more, so what will happen? Only three electrons are passing. If I will till more like this, so only zero lines are passing. So it means that the how many number of field, uh, lines are passing. So J can be written as I A cos theta means the component of this area in this direction. So if we will find the component of this area in this direction, so this will be J is equal to I by A cos theta. From here, I will be equal to J A cos theta. So from here we can find I current is equal to J dot A, A. So this is so J is the current density. So from here we can always find the current density. I hope you have understood now. If you want to find a J in greater way, so integrate it. If current is variable or not, if area is variable or not, just you need to integrate, you will find the density, right? So I hope you have understood and enjoyed the class. So for Today, this for this part, it is enough for. I will meet in the next session. Thank you for attending this chapter. Thank you.